Ms. Oliver here. I'm going to go over our PSSA Lesson 28, which is on root words and affixes. Root words are the small word within a larger word. And an affix can be one of two things. It can be a prefix, which happens before the root word, or it can be an affix, which happens at the end of a root word. For example, if my root word was view, I could add a preview, I could add it, I can add a prefix and make it preview. Pre is the prefix and view was my root word. I could also take that root word view and I could add a suffix to the end and make it viewable. Let's practice. Use the following models to better understand how to use root words and affixes to determine word meaning. We're going to read A, B, and C and try to figure out what the underlined word means. Here I have a little bit of a clue that says the root of scribe means to write. How does this information help you? So I know that scribe means to write. Few people in ancient Egypt could write, so they had scribes compose documents and letters to record transactions and events. Oh, well if a scribe means to write, and few people knew how to do it, they must have certain people that write for them. So I think a scribe is a person who writes. A book manuscript may go through several revisions before it is published. Hmm, I see that word scribe in here and it says that it goes through revisions which I know is editing something. So this kind of makes me think that it's a rough draft. C. The doctor can prescribe a cream to relieve the itch itching of my poison ivy rash. Here's that word scribe in there. It means to write. I think the doctor can write it. Pre tells me it happened before and then I'm going to get a cream. So I think that that means a order from a doctor for medicine. You get it before you get the medicine. Moving on to slide two. Read the paragraph. We are looking for affixes, which can be a prefix, means beginning, or suffix, which means the end. Tell how the meaning of the prefix and suffix help you to define misalignment. We'll come back to that. Yoga was once thought as a specialized Eastern practice. We have a suffix here, people from the East. Today, however, yoga is practiced by millions of people in the United States alone. Practicing yoga helps many people reduce stress in their life. People are also realizing the health benefits of yoga, from lowering blood pressure to reducing, making it less, from spinal misalignment. Yoga does wonders for your body. Hmm. I see a prefix here and I see a suffix here. Let's break that apart. I know that miss means that it's wrong. It might mean that it's out of place. Then I see the word align, which means in order. And then I see the word, the suffi suffix meant, which is the act of. 
So if I put that all together, that tells me that the bones in the person's body are in pain because the spine is misaligned. So that word means the spine is not in the right place, which is what is causing that person pain. Okay, on this page, we're looking at the underlying word, which is infectious. Imagine a 35-story building in your town, and that is how tall some redwood trees are. When people visit the Redwood Natural Forest Parks in Northern California, they often say things like amazing, incredible, unbelievable. These enormous trees can grow up to 367 feet tall and 22 feet wide. They can live up to 2,000 years. Most live up to 600 years. According to the U.S. National Park Service, the ancestors of today's coastal redwoods grew in the Jurassic era 160 million years ago. These trees live long because they are very near to the coast. This keeps them safe from fire and drought because of the moisture coming off the Pacific Ocean. They are also free from infectious diseases and insects because of the wood's composition. I can often find the root of a long word by first removing the prefixes and suffixes. I can put together all the meanings of the word parts to determine the meaning of the whole word. Let's use context clues to help me determine the meaning. Underlined up here, we had the word incredible and also infectious. Incredible, infectious. <clears throat> incredible means that something is amazing, able to be wonderful. Infectious means able to infect or the act of infecting. Okay, so now it's your turn. You have a passage called Neighborhood Friends, and you have a couple um, reading guides for you to look at. This will help you later. They're going to ask you some questions, multiple choice, one short answer. Then you have, um, looks like kind of like an activity that you're dragging circles and a line. Here's another multiple choice for you. And then finally, you have a matching activity. You'll use these red lines to connect the word with the um, definition closest on the right. Good luck, and I'll catch you next time.